Hello everyone, I'm a Rainbow and today I'm going to show you how to record your performances in Flipside Studio without using the Flipside Broadcaster at all. This is super useful for folks who have a Mac or don't have a PC or do all their videos on phone or tablet. If you're happy with Flipside Broadcaster then you probably don't need this tutorial. For this to work and to get the best recording on your headset you need to Turn on the experimental camera features on the Quest 2. These will help stabilize any recordings you make and minimize your own movement. I'm going to append the steps to turn on those experimental features to the tail end of this video. Also, all of the recording in this video was done without using Flipside Broadcaster at all. There's two ways to record directly on the headset. The simplest method is to just pretend you're the camera. After That's you've camera created your performance right like I'm doing now, I'm put yourself in ghost mode, find the camera angle you want to use, start recording directly on the Quest 2 with the microphone off. You don't want to hear your breathing. Now, play back your performance and try to keep still. Sitting in a chair might be helpful. If you want different angles, just reposition yourself and start the playback again. Everyone, Once you've got what you want, stop recording on the headset, then transfer or sync the file to your device or Mac. That's the simple method and it works well. However, the best method actually uses the screen on the camera switcher. You basically get right up in front of it so it fills most of the headset view this time start by actually positioning the cameras where you need them because you're going to use them. Now start recording on the Quest 2 with the mic turned off. Hit playback on your performance. This is much better than the first method because it allows you to use multiple camera angles, cuts, and camera movement just like you can in Flipside Broadcaster. Yes, you'll have to move your head periodically for cuts or moves, but you can edit those out in post-processing. That's how you can record your awesome Flipside Studio performances directly on the headset. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please hit that like button, drop me a comment. That's enormously helpful in getting this video out to others. Maybe hit that subscribe button while you're at it. The Quest camera features are next if you're sticking with me. If not, thank you so much for watching. Y'all be good. I'm a rainbow. All right, everybody, we're in the Quest 2 menu and we are going to go to the camera settings. They are no longer experimental. Apparently, they got updated in the last update or so and I didn't catch it. The easiest way to find your camera settings is to go to the little camera app. You'll see settings up in the corner, and I'm already recording, but uh, you probably won't be. And it goes in, you see it brings us right to camera under system, and then the settings are right here. And you want to definitely turn image stabilization on. I normally just leave it to low, but if you move around a lot, it, it, it could be helpful. And I like to use either portrait or landscape. In this case, I'm going with the widescreen. And the frame rate, it's up to you what you go with. If you're doing a lot of action, 36. But for this, I'm just going to leave it at 24. And the bit rate, 5 or 10, is usually just fine for what you're doing. 15 or 20, the file sizes start getting unmanageable. Those are the settings that I would recommend for you to record when you're trying to record your flip side broadcaster all right everybody hope that was helpful y'all be good bye bye